All right, so our article begins with this kind of interesting, but not super important, but I would definitely say interesting question. Dogs tilt their heads when they're listening to people. Er? Which sense doesn't make them do this? Ah, so we're going to get into some of the science of it. Yeah. But first of all, yes, we have to all agree. I'm sure you've seen it in real life or on TV or even in a cartoon. The dog er, tilts its head. Often, when a person is talking to it, so that's an interesting thing. Let's first talk about this word tilt. So we had this word tilt. First of all, to tilt is to go from an even or flat position to a slightly off-center position. All right. If you lean your body, you're kind of tilting to one side. If you knock something, it might tilt until it falls over. Or if you're in a boat on a sea, the waves will cause the boat to kind of move from side to side and swing from side to side. That is to tilt, to go from an even flat position to a slightly off center or off the horizontal position. Tilt 这个字呢是倾斜的意思，代表狗狗会歪头。那这里的句子呢，我们有今天的第一个 word power word， 单字是 head， h e a d head。And we're talking about dogs tilting their heads. This is a word power word. Head is spelled h e a d h e a d. Here, of course, we're talking about more than one because there are many dogs and they all have a head. So we're talking about dogs tilting their heads, h e a d s. And yes, your head is this part of your body. It's on the end of your neck. Most animals have their eyes, their brain, their nose, mouth, ears might also be on their heads. Heads come in all shapes and sizes, but most animals, even insects, will have them. For example, we could say the top. We could say. Ian hit his friend on the head, so the teacher shouted at him. Ian hit his friend on the head, so the teacher shouted at him. Head 就是头啦。那我们的例句说呢 ，Ian 打了他朋友的头，所以老师对他大喊。那我们文章说到呢 ，When dogs are listening to people, they tilt their heads. 当狗狗听人类说话的时候，他们会歪头。为什么会这样呢？ Why?、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here's the other big question: Which sense doesn't make them do this? Ah, it's a kind of a complicated question. So dogs do this. We know that. We、mm -hmm. accept that. But which sense does not or doesn't make them do this? First of all, we should talk about this word "sense." It's our second word power word, and it's spelled S-E-N-S-E. -S -E, sense. All right. So a sense is a noun, and it's one of the natural abilities that humans and many other animals are born with. We have a lot of different senses. Sometimes people say we have five, but scientists now say we actually have many more. The traditional five would be the senses of sight, seeing, smell, smelling, hear, hearing. Taste, tasting with our mouths and tongue, and feeling things with our hands and our skin. We also have senses of balance. You can sense if you're going to fall over. You have a sense of hunger. Your body sends a message to you saying, "I'm hungry." You have a sense of thirst. That's another sense. You could also say you have a sense of time. You can feel that time is passing. These are things that you don't need machines to figure out. You don't need someone to tell you. You don't need to look. It up or use an app. It's something your body naturally tells you. You're getting this information from the parts of your body. For example, my sense of smell is good, so I knew you were cooking in here. My sense of smell is good, so I knew you were cooking in here. I was in Gaosheng. I could smell that steak, so I came all the way over. Yeah, my sense of smell is good. Sense 是感官的意思 ，sense of smell 就是所谓的嗅觉。那例句说呢，我的嗅觉很灵敏，所以我知道你刚刚在这里煮东西。那我们刚刚有说到，通常我们就是 five senses: sight 视觉 ，hearing 听觉 ，smell 嗅觉 ，taste 味觉，还有一个是 touch 触觉。那到底哪一个感官没有使他们如此歪头呢？我们在这个句子当中啊，看到了十一动词 make。在我们看选项之前，我们先进到 magic box 听讲师讲解十一动词的用法。